Hi everyone, welcome to Rogue Art History. Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite artist, Frida Kahlo. Frida is praised in pop culture and through Halloween costumes everywhere for her colorful, eccentric style. But she was also one of the most refreshingly honest painters of all time. So let's take a closer look at some of her work through one of her many self-portraits, The Broken Column. We can all agree that Frida Kahlo isn't really known for her subtlety, but that's not really the point of Frida. The power of her work lies in her unflinching ability to lay it all out on the table, always creating the frankest expression of herself. Frida painted the broken column later in life after she had spinal surgery, one of many painful procedures resulting from a bus accident in her teens that shattered much of her skeleton and left her in agony for the rest of her life. The constrictive body brace that she depicts in the painting is entirely literal since Frida herself was perpetually bound by a steel corset. She paints a fragmented column within a fissure in her flesh, which stands in for her broken spinal column. Frida said at this stage in her life, I am disintegration. The nails puncturing every inch of her flesh reflect the Catholic iconography of martyrdom, although Frida was never one to play the martyr. She even referred to her medical ordeal as punishment. Some claim that the larger nails over her heart reflect her tortured relationship with Diego Rivera, her partner of many years. The broken column is unique among Frida's many self-portraits in that it portrays her in complete isolation without the lush foliage and comforting monkeys that lend color and life to her usual work. The broken column hangs in the Dolores Omedo Museum in Mexico City. Dolores Omedo was a flamboyant socialite, lifelong friend, and some say lover of Diego Rivera. She was intensely jealous of Frida and hated her artwork, but she did buy a large portion of it after Frida's death as a personal favor to Diego. Some say that she bought the paintings in order to deliberately keep them out of the public eye. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe below and check out roguearthistory.com for more strange, shocking, and exciting art historical facts every single week. Yes, lower, lower. See how that goes.